Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So um, we're gonna get started on our build for our shipping containers to make it into housing. And it's still the winter here in the Ozark, so yeah, it gets cold. And so to work inside the container, I decided to try to get some heat in there. And the first install is this chimney stack. And of course we will put a wood burning stove in there. So let, let's go through that for a second. All right, so the brand I'm using is Selkirk here. It is a, uh, a through the wall variety. And uh, as you can see, it's going from the shipping container uh, out and uh, it's going up. Now, uh, a couple of things about this material. This is double insulated stove pipe, uh, eight inches on the outside diameter and six inches on the inside diameter. And uh, uh, one of the things I wanted to say is uh, in cutting a shipping container open, I mean, I've seen people use anything from uh, torches, art torches, and, and, um, and uh, uh, sawzalls and things like that. But uh, what I find uh, works really well and, and works the best is just a, an outright grinder. So we'll take a look at that later. But if you go slowly and uh, you pre-drill uh, the whole diameter as much as you can out first and then put a uh, grinder to it with a metal bit, it does a nice job and you can get a pretty nice um, circle out of that and uh, like I said, be pretty tight and flush. Now I still have to caulk this um, to get it weather tight, but in terms of the installation that's done. The other the unique kind of um, in, in, installation problem you get with chipping containers is the material itself, the container is corrugated. So you're not going to have a nice flat surface to cut on. So yes, go very slowly um, and, uh, and carefully and you'll be able to get it done. The other thing uh, here too is um, now these, uh, these bolts are anchoring it to the shipping container. These particular uh, chimneys are very, very heavy. I mean, I don't know the exact weight of all of this material is, but, but um, yeah, it's definitely not lightweight. And uh, I would say all of this, you know, may weigh as much as uh, uh, 50 pounds or so. So you really want that bracket, uh, especially if you're going exterior like me on the outside. Um, well done. And so, uh, yes, you want to be able to reinforce all of that. The nice thing with this particular model of the of the uh, of the wall uh, coming out of the wall unit is um, I'm gonna come down here. Uh, if you can see that, it actually has a uh, a cap that you can take off and clean the chimney of all the creosote that might uh, result later on in use. So let's go inside and take a look at the way that was done. Sorry for the quick camera work here. I'm just going around the shipping container. Okay, so I'll include a uh, video later on about how we're gonna frame this container. But for now, I just wanna show you the chimney stack and the material that we're using. So um, these two by fours were used, as you can see. Uh, the ones down there are holding that bracket outside. And uh, this, is holding the rest of it up. That's holding that bracket uh, for the top up. Um, as you can see that we had to do some work here and here in order to uh, get the points from the outside to uh, screw into the to the wood. And uh, let's quickly make, take a look at the uh, the materials that we use. Um, use the drill. There's the grinder. Now one quick thing about the Harbor Freight grinders. Um, I would definitely recommend this particular product. It's the Chicago Electric Professional model of their grinder. Highly uh, useful. I have other, I have better tools, quote, that I spent much more money on, like Bosch products, which I do recommend, but in terms of the grinder, that is one of the best out there. So uh, yes, Harbor Freight uh, does make some good tools, power tools, so this is one of them. I would recommend that. Um, as far as uh, this is going again, the, uh, the, the actual um, chimney and the chimney piping, uh, it is double insulated, like I said. This is going to mate up with, with the black pipe going to the chimney, uh, to, to, the, uh, to the stove. And you can see there's a, a two inch um, 
there's a two inch barrier there from the, from the uh, insulated pipe. So you got insulation in between here uh, from the fire as well as this, uh, well, it's more than two inches with, within the inch diameter. It's about three, let's say, from here to here. That is what's gonna uh, protect your wall from flaming up and the stud is well uh, away from all of that and the exterior um, surface uh, kind of the facade is going to go on top of that and this will also have to be cut back but you can see how that works so let's go ahead and uh, test this uh, chimney uh, stack and see how well it draws so give me a minute here i try to attempt to do this with one hand so let's see if it works all right let's get that burned up all right, so here we go. So, all right, let's see. see that right there. So that's strong fairly well, and I'm satisfied with that. Um, you know, it's a better, there's a better, there's a better visual there. Um, so, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. So, make sure it's out. So yeah, there's this chimney stack. Um, and then of course, uh, this stove. This is this particular is an old Yodel model uh, that I'm going to be putting into this container. It may be too too powerful for it, but we'll see. I have a smaller one that I can test later. But yeah, that's the start of our chimney stack and our um, and the chimney and the start of this container build out. Uh, once I do more of the framing, I'll do another video on how I'm framing it. But uh, that's it. Alrighty, have fun. Shalom.